Hi, I'm Dr. Katherine Haas. In this video, I'm going to show you how to animate a protein conformational change using the free software UCSF Chimera. The procedure shown in this video is the one I use to make the animation you're looking at right now. I'm going to use the metal binding protein calmodulin as an example. And I've got the two PDB structures here. So I'm going to open the APO form of calmodulin. And I'm also going to uh, open the HALO form. And the easiest way to do this is just to fetch it by its ID. So now we have both the APO form and the calcium bound form of calmodulin open in the window. Now I'm going to align these structures. I use the matchmaker tool to align the structures. And I'm going to choose the APO form as the reference structure and the HALO form as a structure to match. Now, I would like to match a specific part of this structure. If I wanted to just match the um, structures automatically, I can press apply here and the structures will match according to the best match that they can find. But if I use this as my uh, two structures through the merge, the top of this structure will look like it has a very large conformational change and the bottom part of this structure will have a very small conformational change. And I want to show that the top and the bottom part of the structure are kind of symmetric here um, and have similar changes in conformation. So I'm going to select part of the protein in the middle. I'm going to do this by going to sequence and viewing the sequence for the APO form. And then I'm going to highlight a particular part of this protein. And this time I'm going to tell the matchmaker to restrict the section to the currently selected section. And I'm going to apply that. And now you see I have a better match for the middle part of the protein and the two ends of the protein are kind of equal in their differences. Now that my structures are aligned, I can use the morph confirmations tool. I'll close my other tools here because I don't need those anymore. I need to add my structures. I want to start with my APO form and end with my halo form. And I'd like this to happen in more than 20 steps. Uh, so that means that there will be more than 20 frames. I'm going to choose 60 and then I press create. This creates a new structure here and you can tell I should have done this, showed you this earlier, but if I look at the command line, I have three different structures here now. The second, or the number two, uh, is the new structure, which is basically a molecular movie. So I can see that if I move it out of, out of line with one of the other structures that's there. So this is the APO form and the HALO form. Okay. So before I do anything else, I'd like to change what I have on my file and in my screen to make manipulating these files easier in the future. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select uh, structure zero and structure one. But I'll start with structure zero. And I'm going to delete this structure. I don't need that there anymore. I have that structure in the morph movie if I need it later. And for structure number one, which is the APO form, I don't want to delete the entire structure. I only want to delete the protein. So I'm going to select just the protein part by changing my selection mode to intersect and then selecting the protein. Now I'm going to delete those atoms. So the only part of uh, structure number one, which is the halo form, 
the only part that's left is the calcium and its bound water. And I can see now that the only protein structure that I have is my merged file or my merged molecular animation. And I can move it back and forth using the slider here. So this is how you can make a merge or a molecular merge and you can show a conformational change from one structure to another.